What do you guys think of air fryers? I was actually a skeptic until I was given one of the OG Power XL air fryer ovens a couple years ago, and now I am a total convert. So I'm really excited to take a look at this Fika air fryer oven. If you haven't already, please consider supporting the channel by hitting that like and subscribe button. We also have an IG knife shop where we sell some knives to help support the channel. And we also have a merch store where you can grab some merch to help further support this madness. Now, quick disclaimer, Fika did send me this unit completely free of charge. However, they're not paying me for this video, nor am I affiliated with their company. This way you guys know that my feedback and review is 100% honest and of my own. Always, this is a first impression review and we'll come back here in six months to see how this baby holds up. Now let's jump straight into the specs. So the Fika air fryer oven comes with seven different accessories. It comes with an air fry basket, a grill rack, a baking tray, a safety handle, a rotisserie lift, a rotisserie fork, and also a crumb tray. But personally, I kind of look at it as six different items because the crumb tray, I kind of expect it to be just a standard built-in feature. Now this air fryer convection oven has seven functions or options to choose from. They have regular bake, they have the air fry option, they have broil, toast, keep warm, and also a convection bake, which has the fan running and also the rotisserie function. And what I really like about this piece right here is that it essentially combines three different countertop appliances into one. It is the toaster, the toaster oven, and also the air fryer. So when you have limited counter space, this is a lifesaver. The temperature rating for this unit is 160 degrees to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is pretty nice because in comparison to my OG PowerXL air fryer, which only goes up to 400 degrees, the extra 450 is pretty nice. Now let's talk a little bit about size because when it comes to appliances, size does matter. And this Fika air fryer oven has a 21 quart capacity. And in comparison to my old toaster oven, or I guess to be fair, there are many different sizes of toaster oven, but my toaster oven specifically, the Hamilton Beach that I've been using for years, this Fika is a huge upgrade. Now let's take a look real quick. For example, this right here is a nine inch round cake pan. Next, we have a five by 10 loaf pan. This is a full size loaf pan, and I can actually fit up to two loaf pans in here. Right here, I'm showing two five inch round cake pans, and also right here, I'm showing an eight by 10 casserole dish that I can fit in here diagonally. With my old Hamilton Beach, this would not be possible at all. Previously mentioned, this Fika does have a rotisserie function. And in the advertisement, you see that they're roasting a whole chicken in there. Now I wanna put this disclaimer out there. If you think you're going to take a full-size store-bought chicken and stuff it in this air fryer, it's not going to fit. But if you're talking about like a two pound Cornish game hen, some squabs, some quail, so a smaller poultry, it will definitely fit. And I'll be testing this out in the next few months and report back to you guys and see how these functions work. Now, with all that said, this is by no means a replacement for a full size oven, but it is an amazing addition because when it comes to the holidays this year, this is going to be a game changer. Now let's take a look at a fit and finish. Now, the first thing I noticed about the Fika is actually the color scheme that they use. This gold and black color that they have going on is super slick, it's matte black, so it's not overly shiny. It's just really, really slick and modern looking. And I absolutely love it. Now, I do want to point out that the gold color that they use, I personally think it leans more towards a copper color instead of a true gold. But of course, everyone views and interprets color a little different. This is just me personally thinking that it leans a little bit more towards the copper color. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at these doors. The oven doors comes with a double pane glass, which is really nice to help insulate the heat. Now in comparison to my old toaster oven, where it has a single pane of glass, when you have the heat cranked up, that glass gets super hot. Now I'm not saying the oven door on this Fika doesn't get hot, but in comparison to that single pane glass, this is night and day difference. The door also comes with these reinforced hinges, which stops at 20 degrees, opens all the way, close, pauses at 20 degrees, and close again. And these reinforced hinges creates a really nice and tight fit for these doors. Now. Here are some initial feedback that I have for the Fika oven when I used it for this video. The first feedback I actually have is in regards to actually the hinges and the machine itself. The, the machine is extremely light. So when you do open the doors, it actually shifts and slides the machine a little bit. Now it's a super easy fix. You can go to the hardware store, get some non-slip rubber feet and stick it underneath on those little legs that they have on there. But it would be nice that if this was already a feature, that was included from factory so you don't have to take the extra steps to fix it. Now the next feedback that I have is actually the temperature knob. I wish there were more temperature indicators on the temperature knob 
because I thought it was pretty standard to have 350 degrees and 400 degrees Fahrenheit on the dial indicator. But unfortunately, neither one of those temperatures are on there. So we would definitely try our best to get as close to those temperatures as possible. I don't think it's going to be that hard, but it would just be nice to have those indicators on there. Now, a true upgrade would be if the temperature controller is completely digital so you can set it and see exactly what temperature you're setting your oven to. Now, the very last feedback I have, which is just kind of a personal preference thing, is I wish there was an oven light switch where I can manually turn the oven light on and off. Because as of right now, the oven light only comes on when the machine is running with the door closed. Now, what I mean by that is there's a safety feature when the oven door is open, the machine completely stops running and the oven light shuts off. So it'll be kind of nice to have that manual switch where you can just turn the oven light on and off. But I also understand that, you know, having this feature will preserve the oven light bulb from burning out because guilty as charged, I always forget to turn off the oven light. My wife can tell you that. Um, but yeah, it's just, just a little personal preference of mine. Uh, and I also want to point out that with the safety feature, when the door is open, the oven and the function completely turns off, but the timer doesn't. The timer will keep ticking away. So keep that in mind if you're baking something that is very time sensitive to keep an eye on the, t on the timer and when you're opening and closing the doors. Now, with all that being said, let's go ahead and give this guy a quick test run. The instruction menu will say to run this machine at 450 for 10 to 15 minutes to burn off any fumes and smells from the production line, which I already did. Now let's get cooking. Now, first up, we have frozen Arby's rice. We here love Arby's rice. The instruction on the bag says about 425 degrees for 20 minutes for half a bag or 30 minutes for the whole bag. Now I have about three quarters of a bag poured in here and I had the air fryer set to 400 degrees and it was done in about 15 minutes. So it's a lot faster than your conventional oven. The fries did give off a lot of steam when it was cooking, but it came out extremely crispy. Now check this out. As you can hear. Yeah, that's very crispy. Now next up we have frozen onion rings. The instructions on the bag says 400 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes. Now I had the air fryer set to 365 degrees for about 15 minutes and these were completely done. And check out how crispy these are. So for today, we only tested out the air fryer option. In the next few months, I'll be testing the remaining functions and report back with a follow-up video. But as far as right now, I am really impressed with how fast this Fika cooks the food and how crispy it gets the food. And this concludes our video for the week and I hope you guys do like it. If you guys do like it, please hit that like and subscribe button. It'll mean the world to me to help me support all this madness. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.